is for everyone, and no matter where you are, Allah will find you. I was a missionary. I went on working witness trips with the church. I spoke in the church. I sang in the church. I was in Bible cuisine. I did everything I could in the church. And one day, God told me, Allah told me, there's something about you and you have to do something, you ha I have a plan for you. I could never figure out what it was until the one day I picked up a Quran and felt peace and realized that the way that I was raised and the way that I was going wasn't the way that Allah had planned for me. And SubhanAllah, I became Muslim 19 years ago and it's, it's an amazing, amazing life ever since. You were actually a missionary? Was. I went to Colorado Springs, Colorado, and we used to build broken down homes from storms and witness and sing to the people and hand out food. We worked at soup kitchens and all of, all of that. What was the main thing about Islam that draw, drew you to it? Well, the thing about Christianity that um, was different was we always spoke about Jesus, we sang about Jesus, every sermon was about Jesus, and God was missing from everything, and I thought, where is God in all of this? Allah is the one who came, who made everything. So why aren't we singing of Him? Why aren't we talking about Him? So when I started reading and seeing all of the things about Allah and everyone is worshiping Allah and the, the five times prayer, just focusing on Allah, it meant so much to me. And I realized that a man cannot be a god. He cannot, he wasn't there. He, he was a, a messenger but and he did amazing, amazing things, but he was not the son of God and he didn't. It is not through him that I'm going to get to heaven. It's through Allah. Do you still love Jesus? Absolutely. I mean, how could you not love the messenger that Allah sent and shown all of the people at that time the right way to live? And just because it got a little bit construed along the way, it doesn't mean he wasn't a prophet, he wasn't a messenger. He came to teach and show the people at that time, but he's still relevant today. And subhanAllah, you know, Allah sends everyone when they're supposed to be sent. And I still love Jesus. I just realized he's not the Son of God. He's not my Savior. He's not the one who's going to get me to Jannah. Only Allah can do that. Only following what Allah says can do that. When people hear this word Allah, it's really strange for them. Can you define when you say Allah, what do you mean? So Allah is God. It's just another way of saying God. It's how it's said in Arabic, but it is God, the one God, there's one God. There's not many gods, there, people can put names on everything, but a lot, God is, I mean, He is the, the being, He is the, the one who made us all, who created us all, and so it is nothing different, it's not God and and Allah is two different people or two different two different go gods. It's, there's one God. Allah. Can you just briefly talk about the hijab? Did, did Jesus' mother wear what you're wearing? This Absolutely. hijab. Absolutely. What pictures don't you see? I mean, where have you seen any picture of Mary with her hair? <laughs> Who knows what her hair looks like? Every picture is of her in hijab. In hijab, even in the Catholic Church, the picture of Mother Mary is in hijab. She's not without hair, or with her hair uncovered. So, I mean, why wouldn't you, if you're following her in other religions and everything, but, so why is hijab so different? Because you're Muslim. I mean, you should recognize that throughout. For people who think that Islam is synonymous with terrorism and violence, what do you say? It's so far from the truth because Islam does not even allow you, you shouldn't even break a branch of a tree. You don't hurt one another. It is said to be kind. You have to love. That's what Allah is. Allah is love. You cannot harm one another. It says that if you hurt one person, one of mankind, not one Muslim, any one of mankind, it is as though you have hurt everyone. So, you, but there is no such thing as terrorism they, in Islam. People say in their way, in the, what they may think, but that is not Islam. Islam is peace. Last uh, suggestions for anybody who's looking into Islam, but they're kind of scared, like with their family or the pressure from society. What advice do you give to them? How did you overcome that? It isn't always easy because you will have family who doesn't accept, who doesn't agree, or who doesn't know anything about Islam. It's scary. All they've heard is what they've heard on TV. And you have to just get a 
good masjid, have good support, good community. There are so many out there. Gain Peace does a really great job. All the different masjids that you're involved in, make sure that you have backup and community. And there's so much love and care that is surrounding you. And don't give up. Don't give up. There's hope. Thank you so much.